Hello Dub Nation, this is the video that will transform your perception of the history of the Golden State Warriors. Get ready for a thrilling journey as we explore the greatness of the Splash Brothers, Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson. This is not just another basketball debate, but a celebration of the extraordinary legacy of these two legendary athletes. Stephen A. Smith, one of the most respected voices in the world of sports, proclaimed them the best point guard duo in Warriors history, a bold but well-founded statement. Join us as we uncover every detail, every shining moment, and discover why this duo is so essential to NBA history. Prepare to be impressed, to be amazed, and most of all, to recognize greatness when it presents itself. Leave a like to show your support for Curry, Thompson, and the Warriors and watch every second of this video to understand why this statement carries so much weight and importance. The stage is set and the story is about to unfold before your eyes. With Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving shining in the Western Conference Finals, the debate over the greatest point guard duos of all time has resurfaced. On the program First Take, Stephen A. Smith revealed his ranking of the five best backcourts in NBA history. Luka and Kyrie were just fourth, while their number one pick is the Warriors' dynamic duo of Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson. Stephen A. declared Steph Curry the greatest shooter God ever created, and Klay Thompson is right next to him. Both are in the top six on the all-time three-point field goal list, with Curry obviously at the top. After this season, Thompson will likely pass Reggie Miller for the fifth spot on the list. Since their first season together in 2011, the Splash Brothers have dismantled defenses with their shooting ability. Even though Thompson had a subpar year, Stephen A. isn't worried about the five-time All-Star. Did Thompson have a bad year? Did you know that a bad year for him is shooting about 38% from three and averaging 17 points? This just goes to show how great Klay Thompson is, arguably a top-tier Hall of Famer. The Warriors may not have much time left with these two veterans, so the team is hoping for another deep playoff run to further solidify the Splash Brothers' legacy. With the Warriors looking to bounce back next season, a big change is on the horizon, Laurie Markkinen. After a challenging season that saw them miss the 2024 NBA playoffs, the team is determined to regain their position at the top of the league, with Stephen Curry leading the way with his unparalleled brilliance. It is crucial for the Warriors to maximize their offensive potential, especially in the paint. That's where Markkanen comes in, bringing with him a unique ability to stretch the court with his accurate long-range shot and an offensive versatility that can unlock new dimensions for the team. This isn't just a regular exchange, it's an opportunity for revitalization, a sign that the Warriors are committed to rebuilding a dynasty. With Markkanen alongside Curry, the Warriors' future shines with a renewed promise of success and redemption. As the Warriors explore the market for upgrades, an exciting prospect emerges with the possible inclusion of Jordan Clarkson in the trade. The team can further solidify its rotation by adding an explosive spark to its offensive game. Clarkson brings with him an unmatched ability to create his own scoring and an aggressive mindset that can energize the entire team. His presence on the perimeter would perfectly complement Curry's style of play, providing valuable relief in pressure situations. This is the time for the Warriors to make a bold move, a move that will not only put them back in the title race, but also revitalize the team's spirit and determination. With Markkanen and Clarkson on board, the Warriors are ready to write the next chapter of their story with courage, passion, and an unwavering commitment to excellence. In a move destined to change the landscape of the NBA, the Utah Jazz accept a proposal that brings a variety of valuable assets, Andrew Wiggins, with his explosive potential, Moses Moody, a young talent full of raw skills, and a series of draft picks. First and second round draft picks, forming a powerful package that promises to solidify the Jazz's future. The draft picks provide opportunities to build and develop a competitive team over the long term, while Wiggins and Moody immediately add depth and versatility to the roster. This trade represents not only a strategic move, but also a commitment to excellence and perseverance, showing the world that the Jazz are determined to build a lasting dynasty. On the other hand, the Golden State Warriors get a boost of energy with the arrival of Laurie Markkinen and Jordan Clarkson. 
Markkanen brings a sense of versatility with his ability to stretch the floor and contribute in multiple areas of the game, while Clarkson steps in to fill the void left by Jordan Poole's absence, bringing his explosive scoring ability and valuable bench experience. While this trade doesn't immediately transform the Warriors into title contenders, it puts them one step closer to that goal by strengthening their depth and adding new dimensions to their style of play. It is a powerful reminder that even in the most challenging times, determination and the pursuit of excellence must never waver. The Utah Jazz continue to accumulate future assets. The Jazz have proven over the past two seasons that they have no immediate plans to compete. After being a competitive playoff threat through the first three months of the season, the Jazz dismantled their roster in search of future assets. Laurie Markkinen is already 27 years old, and the Finnish All-Star could contribute more significantly on a competitor like the Warriors. Markkinen averaged 23.2 points and 8.2 rebounds last season, a slight drop in production from his rookie season with the Jazz. The winger is on an expiring contract, and the Jazz need to make a decision this season whether Markkanen is the centerpiece of their rebuilding project. With the franchise's much younger core and the need for minutes at the power forward position for Taylor Hendricks, the Jazz may be willing to accept a rather high price for an expiring contract. Jordan Clarkson hasn't received much interest on the trade market during the season, but he would be an excellent inclusion piece for the Warriors who have a hole in the bench scoring department that averages 17.1 points per game from the 31-year-old veteran. Could fill. This would also open up minutes for young wings on the Jazz like Bryce Sensabaugh and Keonti George. Moses Moody would be a formidable addition to the team's young core, likely resulting in greater opportunities after years on the Warriors bench. Andrew Wiggins may not be the most exciting asset, but a low-pressure season in Utah could be just what he needs to get his career back on track. The Warriors begin to put their chips on the table. What exactly are the Warriors afraid of? Yes, their franchise star is a 36-year-old point guard, but Stephen Curry has proven he can continue to be the Warriors' main man. There is no reason to take a two-timeline approach when, in one year, it worked. None of the youngsters played important minutes behind a host of veterans last season, resulting in a second-round exit and a lack of playoffs this season. Markkanen is an elite scorer who would be a huge improvement over Wiggins' 13.2 points and 4.5 rebounds this season. The Finnish winger's ability to fit into any attacking role is a huge advantage as he can complement the Warriors' style of play very well. His accuracy as a shooter and his size on the interior give the Warriors a versatile scoring wing they haven't had in years. Chris Paul may have replaced Jordan Poole and brought a sense of calm to the Warriors bench, but they still need that scoring touch that Clarkson admirably provides as a former 6th Man of the Year award winner who knows what it takes to compete for a title. If the Warriors bring Paul back on a team-friendly contract, that would be a lethal bench duo. The loss of Moody may hurt some fans, but the team already has a young point guard in Brandon Podziemski they can trust. Moody averaged 8.1 points and 3.0 rebounds this season, failing to crack the Warriors' rotation in his third season with the team. There is a clear lack of confidence in Moody's current skill set, so it's best to use him to sweeten this deal. The Warriors take steps to get back to the top. This trade will allow the Warriors to get a proven scoring threat with the size to compete in the Western Conference. This type of player can change the offense overnight, and the Warriors need someone to do that alongside an aging Stephen Curry. The team will need to fill other holes on its roster, but adding Markkanen to that roster would be a masterstroke for the Warriors' front office. It's just a matter of what they're willing to give up to make winning moves now. The Warriors have more trade assets to bring to the table versus other teams, especially in terms of pick swaps. They are unlikely to trade 2023 rookies Brandon Podziemski and Tracy Jackson Davis after their sensational rookie campaigns, but the team needs to add more consistent veteran players to its roster if they truly want to compete for a title. Even with Podziemski's strengths, he wasn't consistent enough as a scorer to impact bench scoring or even as a starter in place of Klay Thompson. The Jazz have a young core that has a lot more to discover in the coming seasons. 
There is no reason to let Markkinen's value stagnate, whether it's a pricey contract extension or other slight regression that could make teams question their commitment to trading key assets for the Finnish winger. Both teams can take steps towards their goals with this trade as it makes their particular directions clearer. It's time for the Warriors to consider a risky move. For years, the Warriors played conservatively, re-signing their veteran stars while using draft picks on young prospects. That was the two-timeline strategy championed by owner Joe Lacob. While it brought them victory in the 2022 NBA Finals, it proved inadequate to sustain their dynasty. The upcoming offseason emerges as a critical moment for the Golden State Warriors, ready to reshape the franchise's trajectory. Will they commit to one last attempt at winning the championship or will they opt for a financial restructuring? Mike Dunleavy Jr. and the front office face a series of daunting choices, leaving fans eager to find out the team's next moves. Expectations surrounding Golden State's future intensify. In conclusion, the future looks uncertain for the Golden State Warriors. With the possibility of losing and adding players to the team and the various trade options available, the Warriors are well positioned to continue to be a force to be reckoned with in the NBA. Stay tuned for more updates on the Warriors and remember to support by leaving your feedback in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications to know when I will send new news. Thank you for following Gold-Blooded News, a hug and see you next time. Let's go Dubs!